Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Dan and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Um, I make weekly videos about house plants, basically just planting things in general and also just life. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you my five current favorite plants that I own. These aren't necessarily going to be favorite like species overall. These are literally just going to be like my favorite plants in my collection. So some of them are just like basic but sentimental. Um, and some of them are really funky and I've never seen anyone talk about them. So yeah, let's get into it. A couple of these plants, I don't know the name of. I'm going to like figure it out and put it on the screen. Okay. But don't fucking come for me. Okay. Anyway. First, we're gonna start with a pothos mix. Now, this is just a collection of a whole bunch of cuttings grown in water. Um, I can't even tell you all of the varieties of pothos in here um, because there's some things in here that I've never seen before. Um, basically, I got this from work. Um, there's one account I have that has probably close to 500 pothos and a lot of them are different um, and they need trimmed very often because they don't want to trail they want them to like stay nice in the pot so I trim them and I keep some of them um, so yeah basically I just I root them in another like a water bottle which is over there and then once they have roots they come in here because I just noticed it's too crowded now and once you put things in here without roots they won't root i do need to put this in something bigger it is like way too big things are competing yeah but i love this so much so this plant i also got from work now before i even say it i just want you to tell me what you think this is okay just put it in the comments what plant do you think this is i'll give you a few seconds what do you think this is, okay? Because if I didn't know what this was, I would literally have no idea. Get your guesses in, cool. This is a Rojo Congo. This is the same thing as this giant one behind me. Rojo Congo. This is what happens when a plant is repetitively pruned for years. Like I said, it's from work. So at work, we have to, like I said, prune things to keep them at the size we want. Now, other Rojo and green Congos that we have on the, this account specifically, kind of just like grow and vine out nicely and will just like fill out the planter nicely. Um, so I'm honestly not really sure why they were, this one was pruned so much, but clearly it needed replaced. And I just love it. I love this little thing. I think I'm gonna, prune it more um i just think it's so cool it's a bonsai rojo congo basically um so yeah i just feel very lucky to have this like this is just i love this plant i do need to cut this but yeah that's crazy so this next plant i don't know what it's called i found it on google before but it only gave me like um, one name. It wouldn't. It didn't give me like philodendron siloam. You know, like it didn't give me a name and species. It gave me one name. So I'll find that again and put it on the screen. I can't remember it. All I remember is it is a part of the Arum family. But this thing is just crazy. Like these leaves are silver. I don't really know what's going on up here, honestly. I think I'm gonna cut that. But this other new growth looks good. And yeah, I just love this thing. We got these for a few months before I was finally like, I'm just, I need one. And no, it is not a Cabo Blue Pothos, okay? It's, it's a lot more silver and a different like texture and hardness. It's, I love this thing. You really need to learn how to say the name, maybe next time. Next we have so this is literally just a cutting, but string of hearts. It's just 
goes. She just goes. Um, I love this thing. Not only is it just beautiful and rooting so great, um, it's from my favorite account in the entire world, Dancing Gnome Brewery. If you're in Pittsburgh, please go check them out. They have a plant propagation trading wall. So if you like my channel, you would probably like that and you'd probably just like them in general. Also, I give this thing bright, I guess I can't say bright direct light. It is in a south facing window, but it's behind sheer curtains and it doesn't get super, super bright light there. Last one, this one I also don't completely know the name for. Okay, don't come for me. But it's another philodendron. No, it's not a billy. The billies have orange stems-ish and these have red backs. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. It starts with an A. I just, I recently got this, so I'll figure it out soon. But this leaf, I'm not sure about. It's It's been iffy since I got it. But all in all, this thing is crazy. I love the leaf shape. It does have new growth. New growth. And all this from a four inch pot. Like, well, that is all. That's my top five plants of uh, July 24, I guess. After I move, I will be doing monthly houseplant tours. I am gonna do like an actual video and not a live stream. I won't have one for July. That's, that's not gonna happen. But, end of August, I will have one. If not, maybe middle of August, since I haven't done one in a while. I don't know, we'll see. But, in August, get ready for a plant tour video with all of my plants. I'm over 100 including propagations right now. I don't know what I'll be at when I move, I'll be real. I've, I've been going a little crazy, um, but it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know down below which one of these is your favorite. If you are new here, definitely subscribe. I make new videos every week, mostly about plant things. Um, I'm also going to be kind of like documenting my move, um, I'm moving from Pennsylvania to Minnesota, so it's a lot. And, and I'm doing that with two cats and uh, a whole bunch of plants. So yeah, definitely follow to see that and learn how to do that too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.